What's up guys, Infinity Team Beach Party Coach Michael Bryan here today and today I'm addressing something that a friend of mine is having trouble with. She's not sure exactly how to eat right, she don't know what foods to eat, how much, any of that. She's pretty much, from what I understand, she's completely lost. So I'm going to put this video out, it's going to help her out and it's going to help thousands of others because this really works. This is the real way, this really, really works. So, so pay attention guys and I guarantee you this is going to help you out. Alright, check this out. When you're getting ready to start losing weight, there's something you need to understand. There's something called BMR, and it's, it stands for Base Metabolic Rate. Okay? And what this is, is it's the number of calories um, that basically if you were in a coma and you was laying in a hospital bed all day and you didn't move, your BMR is going to be the number of calories that you're going to need to eat to maintain the weight you're at, to neither lose nor gain weight okay and there's a, there's a number for that for everyone and to get the rough estimate the best thing to do to get the rough estimate of what your number is is go to this website it's called bmi-calculator.net show you guys on my phone there see bmi-calculator.net now look you can see there you can enter in your age uh, weight and height and I just put in some random I put in a five foot seven female 180 pounds and the age 30. I have no idea what she is. Um, I don't think she wants to tell me. She won't tell me what she is. I told her to message me on Facebook. She hadn't replied. So we're just going with something generic here. So I'm hitting calculate BMR. Alright, it says you have a BMR of 1,611 calories. So we're just going to round that up. We're going to call that, or round that down. We're going to call it 1,600 calories. That's how many calories you would need if you didn't move to neither gain nor lose Wait, there's a 3,500 calories, there are 3,500 calories in one pound, okay? So if you want to lose one pound a week, you'd have to create a 500 calorie deficit every single day from, from your uh, calorie needs, okay? So let's say that, um, you know, you eat 500 calories a day less than what your calorie needs are, you're going to lose a pound a week, theoretically, right? Okay, so, but we had to figure out your activity level, and then you multiply that number by your activity level. Like, for sedentary, which is people who don't do a whole lot, I believe it's 1.2. So, we'll just use that for example. So, 1,600 times 1 1.2 equals, 1,600 times 1 1.2 is 1,920 calories. Okay, so we'll say 1,900 calories, right? 1,900 calories a day is what, what you would have to eat to maintain your body weight if you are sedentary. So if you want to lose approximately a pound a week, just subtract 500 calories from that, and that's how, much, how many calories you need to eat a day to lose a pound a week. Okay? If you want to lose 2 pounds a week, then you would subtract 1,000 calories, which would only be 900 calories, which is basically starvation. I wouldn't suggest that. What I would suggest if you want to go for 2 pounds a week is eat the 500 calorie deficit at 1,400 calories and then work out and do cardio with that. Eat 1,400 calories and do cardio with that, right? So then you can shoot for 2 pounds a week. Okay? Are you following me so far? If not, go back and Rewatch this video until it clicks in because this is what this is the real way to lose weight. All right, so now that we've talked about that, let's talk about something else that's important. Protein. Okay? Your carbs and your fats are important too, but if you're going to do this and you want to count, you're going to get your carbs and your fats as long as you're eating good, healthy food. The most important thing you can do is count your protein. And you should be eating between 1 and 1.2 grams of protein per pound of lean body mass. And you can go on Google and figure out how to figure out your lean body mass, okay? But, like, what I do, like, I'm fairly lean. I weigh about 190, so I do, you know, 180 times 1 1.2. Cause that to be, I don't know, I try to take in between 220 and 250 grams of protein a day. You'll have to figure that part out for yourself. Just do some Googling. You'll figure that out. But, you know, shoot for, shoot for a gram of protein a day per pound of body weight if you're, you know, a little overweight. If you're, like, obese, like 350 pounds or something crazy, then you're going to need to Google and figure out how to figure out your lean body mass and go go off of that because there's no way you're going to be able to eat like 400 grams of protein a day. Okay, the next thing that you're going to want to do after you figure out how many calories you need to be eating a day to lose weight is download this app called My Fitness Pal. Check it out. It's called My Fitness Pal. It's free. You can get it at the App Store on Android or iPhone. Or if you don't have a phone, you can get it on your desktop computer. And basically what I like to do is I go to I go right here and go to food and then I, I put everything 
I hope it's focusing. I put everything on their breakfast. You got they got bre breakfast, lunch, um, dinner, snacks, and all that. But I put it all on a breakfast so that it's easy to uh, keep track of. I put all my stuff under breakfast, and you can do this any way you want to. This is just the way that I personally prefer to do it. So let's search for food. Okay, for instance, say you're going to eat uh, a steak and cheese sandwich on wheat at Subway, right? Type in steak and cheese. Subway. You hit search. Boom, it pulled it up. There's a six inch steak and cheese and all the other stuff. So let's just say you eat that. You click on it. It's got 380 calories. It tells how many proteins, carbs, and fats are in that. Right? You just add it. Boom. And it, it didn't refresh it. So there it is right there. There it is right there. It added it for you. So you've had 380 calories so far today. And you hit more and go to nutrition. Um, go over to nutrients nutrients macros sorry macros and it see there it shows how many this is for tomorrow today there we go I'll figure it out here in a minute but it shows your percentages of proteins and uh, I'm all over the chart nutrients is what I want there we go shows how many grains of protein that you've had and so you put all whatever food you want like put whatever food you, that you're eating in there and make sure that you're hitting for this example 1400 calories and make sure that you're hitting, you know, 1 to 1.2 grams of protein per pound of body weight. And you want to get that in that amount of calories, or at least close to it. At least get somewhere in that area. And I guarantee you, you will stop drop, start dropping weight. And the way that you monitor this, hit this amount of calories every single day. Wake up in the morning, with your clothes off, use the restroom, whatever you got to do, weigh yourself on the scale, okay? Do that on Monday, or whatever day. A week later, on that next Monday, after you've ate 1,400 calories and followed this for a week, get on the scales again and weigh yourself. If the scales change and you lost a pound or two, great. You figured out how many calories you need to eat to be losing weight. If they stayed the same and didn't change at all, then you need to either decrease your calories anymore or increase your cardio so that you're burning more calories to lose weight. You're gonna, you, need, you know that you had to create a, more, a larger calorie deficit. And that's it, guys. So just to review what I just said, BMI or just Google BMR calculator, you'll find it. Okay, do that. Download my Fitness Pal. Count your calories. Count your macros. Weigh yourself, and or or you can also get a, a measuring tape and measure your waist or measure the rest of your body. However you want to do it, just measure on Monday. Check it again a week later, and see if you progressed. If you didn't progress, decrease your calories. If you did, perfect. You figured out what works for you. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you out, like, comment, subscribe. If you want help on your fitness journey, I am a beach body coach. I can get you on the right track. Add me on Facebook. Link in the description below. Check out all the rest of the links. I'm out. I really hope this video helps somebody. If it helped you, if you think it'll help someone you know, please share the video. I'm out. I'll see you guys later.